Hello, my name's Holly Gosnell. I'm a virtual production technical artist and welcome to this tutorial for using Glassbox Technologies Dragonfly Virtual Camera Tool with Unreal Engine Sequencer. I'm going to start this tutorial with an overview of the sequencer workflow. If you have downloaded the sample project, we are currently looking at sequencer overview level which can be found in the Levels folder of the content. Sequencer is Unreal Engine's multi-track editor used for creating and previewing cinematic sequences. It is very important when working within Unreal Engine to have a clear and organized folder structure. In the example project, all of the shots and sequences are contained within this cinematics folder. If we take a look in the overview folder, we have our overview master level sequence, which is our cut. Within the shots folder, we have our level sequence shots which are cut into the master level sequence. The shot level sequences contain our cameras and animated character. This is where you can add additional tracks and animation. When working within Sequencer, it's important to be aware of these camera icons and how they control your viewport for looking through your camera. Unreal Engine also gives you the option of multiple panes, which can be found in this arrow drop down here. You can have one pane as the default layout and another as the cinematic preview. For more information on Sequencer, please refer to the Unreal Engine documentation and Unreal Engine learning portal. Moving on, uh, we're now going to look at using a Dragonfly virtual camera with Sequencer. I am currently viewing this level, the Dragonfly Sequencer level. And as you can see, it is an outdoor scene and it's got an HDR backdrop. The sequence that is already set up for this level can be found within cinematics, within the Dragonfly folder, and here we have the DF Sequence Master. I am going to take a look through the cinematic viewport and we'll play back the sequence. Okay, so what I really feel is missing in this sequence is a reverse as the male mannequin arrives and starts walking towards her. So if I go back to my content browser, I'm going to go in the shots and all of these are already within the cut except this one. DF sequence 004A anim. And what I have here is essentially when Mr. Mannequin arrives and Miss Mannequin calls him over and he sits down. This is literally just the animation. No camera 
so far because we're going to make one with dragonfly. So now we go to the dragonfly setup window and we start the dragonfly server. I am currently running the dragonfly companion app on my iPhone and so I am connecting to the server from that right now. And then if we change our viewport to the dragonfly viewport, we can see that we're active here. Going into the dragonfly main window, uh, this is where you set up all your pre-recording settings. I'm gonna start with adding our anim level sequence, DF sequence 004A anim as that's the level sequence we want to record our camera over. I previously set a snapshot at the approximate location that I want to start my camera move from. So we can go to that location. As you can see, it's an over the shoulder shot. And down in this camera area, we can change some of the settings on this. I personally think the 12 mil is a bit too wide. So I'm going to start with a 21. And for focus method, we can set up a tracking focus method. We can pick an actor in the scene and I'm going to choose our male mannequin. And we can even choose a component of his and I'm going to choose his head. So this will mean that um, focus will always remain on male mannequin's head. Okay, and let's go for one. Okay, now that we have one, we can move into the review area of the Dragonfly window. With the shot we recorded selected, we can now play it back. So as you can see, this push-in is rather shaky, but Dragonfly provides us with this smoothing, these smoothing options here. So as we're playing back what we've recorded, we can add just a little bit of smoothing to reduce the amount of the shakiness. Once we're ready to export this camera move from Dragonfly, we can go down into the export section. You should check here that the path is correct for your project. And then going into this file format area, we're going to be exporting for a level sequence within Unreal Engine. If you wanted to take the camera out of Unreal Engine, you would be looking at these FBX options. So now we hit export. I'm going back to our content browser. We can see that a new folder has been created called Dragonfly Level Sequences. Within here, you can see our Dragonfly Shot V1 as a level sequence. As we're now finished with Dragonfly, I'm going to change our viewport to the cinematic viewport and play back our new level sequence. What you're seeing in this level sequence is a dragonfly camera. And notice that the properties are still keyable within the level sequence. This is the sub-scenes track, which references our 
character animation level sequence. Now we're going to cut this shot into our master level sequence. So if we go back into the content browser, I'm going to duplicate our master and call this new one sequence master final. Within this master level sequence, we can add our new shot here and scroll down to find our Dragonfly shot V1. And now it's a matter of cutting it in to our liking. Now it's cut in, let's play it back and see what we've got. In review, we recorded a dragonfly camera over the top of a level sequence which didn't already have a camera in it. We then exported it from Dragonfly as a level sequence and cut it in to our master level sequence.